Hey guys, EBP Man here, and today we're going to go through the setup process of the iPhone 8 Plus and the Apple Watch Series 3 LTE. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now the first thing we'll set up is the iPhone, so let's go ahead and open this up again. Uh, put all these accessories to the side. And we'll power it up. All right, so nothing has changed right here, so the logo starts up just as it normally would. We'll do speed tests, comparisons, and things like that shortly. I'll also do some tips and tricks for iOS 11. I did a short review of the best features of iOS 11. Uh, so let's go through this process. So this still looks the same. We're going to choose our language. We're going to choose the country that we're in. We're going to, we could copy things over, right? So, but we're going to set up things manually. Uh, I'm, this is an unlocked version. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my Wi-Fi network. So now that I have established my Wi-Fi connection, it's going to go and go through the activation process. All right, so looks like I'm having some problems here. I'll go ahead and try again. I just had to do it a second time. Uh, next thing uh, you can do is set up your Touch ID. I'll set up Touch ID later. Create a passcode. Now, one of the things, uh, you'll notice how long the passcode is. You can change it to a shorter passcode. So I'm going to set it to a four-digit passcode. Uh, it's easier to remember. So this is uh, in lieu of the Touch ID. Now that I've inputted in my Touch ID, or my PIN. Uh, next step is to either restore from a backup or start as a new phone. And for those of you who are converting from Android, there is an option uh, to move data from Android. Or those of you who um, have backed up your existing phone, you can do that too. So back it up to iTunes, and then you plug in the phone, the iPhone, into your Mac or your PC, and then you could make this phone look exactly the same as the phone that you have. So I'm going to set this up as a new iPhone. I'm going to enter my Apple ID. Now, once you've entered your Apple ID and its detail, you're going to go ahead and accept the terms and conditions, and it's going to verify your ID. Next, you have some settings here that you can work with. You could allow uh, for maps, find my phone, all those type of features to take place. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. I'm going to accept those express settings. I can modify them later. I can also set up Apple Pay. I'm going to set up my wallet later. So I'm going to hit continue. Get information from your keychain. Uh, this is all your passwords and how you connect. Now, Siri has been updated with iOS 11, so now the symbol looks like this. So I'm going to do continue. And at this point, what you would do is go through the registration process. So we'll try this. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri. Hey, Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, it's me. All right, so Siri is now set up. Um, I'm not going to share my analytics. True tone display. Uh, this is just adjusting the display. You're going to show you the difference. So that is, that's without the display. That's with this with the display. Without. Hopefully that will come up on video. Uh, with right. So what it's going to do is the True Tone display is looking at the light source. I have an overhead light source, and it's going to adjust the display to give it the best display based on the lighting that you're in. So having that uh, True Tone display is, a, I think, a good option to have because it just makes the experience much enjoyable with the phone. Uh, home button. This one still has a home button since this isn't the 10 version. Home button is at the very bottom. So we'll uh, go into those settings later. You also have the ability to modify how many icons are on the screen. So you can have a zoomed version or a non-zoomed version. So the difference is going to be icons are going to be larger and you're going to have less icons because of it. So I can choose a view and you notice here is the standard view. Here is the zoomed view. Standard. Notice it. 
zoomed so it gets bigger and it's still doing a good job so I haven't really lost any icon real estate but if I do go with the larger format I know for sure that I'm going to um, lose it now you can choose zoomed here so you can see the difference standard so it gives you nice choices zoomed and standard we're just gonna go with the standard and that's pretty much it the iPhone is set up now one of the new features with the iPhone 8 is wireless charging abilities and it's using standard technology so just to prove that here you have a Samsung wireless fast charger and I'm gonna take my iPhone 8 put it in the cradle and it is now charging so immediately as soon as it made contact with it it started charging so if you do have these accessories around or um, know of someone who has them and may not use them you don't really have to go ahead and spend the crazy amount of money that you would with uh, an Apple accessory you can use any accessory and there are a lot of products on Amazon that and on this channel that I would recommend that would work I'll do a video on all those solutions uh, throughout the next couple days but uh, don't be fooled and spend a lot of money when you can get a very good product that has the same quality at an affordable price all right, so now the next product that we're going to go through the process of the setup is the Apple Watch. Uh, if you haven't had an Apple Watch um, before, uh, we'll just highlight a couple things. Uh, this is the silver and this is the aluminum version. They come in uh, black and also a space gray. And they come also of different materials. This is, I would say, probably the, the most inexpensive of the watches, but it's still going to run you over $300. The dot here represents that this is a cellular version of the watch. You have several contacts in the back here that are going to check your heart rate, you know, everything that's going on, all your vitals. And there's some additional new uh, healthcare type uh, applications coming that are going to make this really a uh, nice solution, especially uh, for people who have diabetes and, and other illnesses. The watch is wireless in the context that it charges wirelessly and also uh, this one will work with AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, T-Mobile, um, any of the US carriers and as I mentioned this isn't paired with any specific carrier and is using uh, something that's called an eSIM uh, nothing to insert nothing to remove it's everything is digital as you take it from carrier to carrier. Alright so let's go ahead and start up the Apple Watch and press the power button and now it's powering up has a relatively decent discreet uh, all right so let's go ahead and power up the Apple watch so I press the button to power it up we'll let it go through the setup process very similar to what you see going on the iPhone so we'll see the Apple logo and it'll go ahead and set itself up so if you notice the the Apple watch logo they went brighter than darker it's kind of going through the process I'd say it's a lot slower than, than the iPhone at this point. It does have a newer processor, which is faster than the previous generations. Uh, this watch does support uh, water, so you can go underwater with this. Um, you can swim with it. It has a lot of different fitness options as well. This is long, so this is pretty long. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now what you're going to do is uh, pair this with your uh, phone. Uh, you'll have to use a an Apple uh, a device. This is not does not support any other device except Apple. So now you'll see here we have the watch automatically recognized by the phone. So I'm going to hit continue. All right. So now if you notice here the I need to bring the watch underneath the phone because this is like a QR code, but this is a very complex one and it's going to go through a pairing process. So let's go ahead and try to do that. You see that? So now that it's recognized it, your watch is paired. Okay, They're both synced. So now I'm going to tap set up watch. And which wrist will you be wearing the Apple Watch? Because I'm going to be testing it with my current smartwatch, I'm going to put this on my right wrist and now I have to configure the orientation. I can have the orientation uh, facing outwards or inwards so that's going to be up to you as to which one you're going to choose. I'm going to go with this orientation. I'm fine with having it inwards so I'm going to keep this orientation that you have right here. So I just tapped it. I agreed to the terms and conditions and we'll hit continue. Now the next step in the process is for me to enter my Apple ID password. 
Now once you go through the verification process, I will tell you it's going on over 60 seconds, so it's taking a little bit longer. It may be due to the fact that there's so many Apple activations taking place. Oh, we made it to the next screen. So now what we're going to do is uh, work out route tracking. Do I want to enable it? I'm going to say yes to enable it. I'm going to go ahead and look at shared settings. Apple Watch wants to share these settings with your iPhone for location services. I'm going to hit OK. Um, I can create a password uh, for the watch. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. Or I can say don't add a passcode. I'm going to say don't add a passcode. Um, next step is I can set up the activities. So let's go ahead and look at what kind of activities I can set up. And here uh, I would have to set my birth date, you know, all my information so that it can best compute uh, the calorie, burning, sleep, all this other stuff. So let me go ahead and add that. Now once you've set up your metrics, date of birth, weight, height, etc., uh, gender, what you do is you go into this area here to set up what is your activity level. Uh, light activity activity moderate or high. I work out every day I just choose highly and it came up with this calorie so I'm gonna set my move goal to that. The next thing is if I want to set up more about uh, the emergency SOS type features I'm gonna hit continue. Um, cellular setup so insert a SIM into your iPhone to set up a cellular service on the Apple Watch. I don't have a SIM on this one so um, in your case you will just hit continue and uh, install all available apps Right, so I'm going to uh, install all. So now what you have here is that the Apple ID and everything has been synchronized. We're going to hit continue. We'll give it a couple moments. All right, so the next screen that's come up here is that location sharing is on. I'm going to hit OK. And now everything is set up. So that concludes our installation and setup of the iPhone 8 Plus and the Apple Watch Series 3. Uh, over the next couple of days you'll see videos on how to make phone calls and how to use the watch and how you know just generally how it works. We'll also do some reviews on the iPhone itself. I have tons of accessories that we're going to be reviewing as well so uh, keep in mind that if you are uh, looking to purchase accessories or you're still on wait for your phone or your watch, just watch the channel because you'll see a lot of accessories that you may want to consider. So when you get your phone or watch, you'll be able to use them. So as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe. Uh, comment in the comment area if you have your uh, iPhone 8 or you're getting your Apple Watch. We'd love to hear from you and would love to hear what your experience is as well. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe.